Hey there, Internet. I want to start off today's video by talking about the Camp Fire, which is the fire burning currently in Northern California. It's killed 63 people. There are over 600 people missing. It's the deadliest fire in California history. So I'm going to link in the description below to where you can donate if you want to help out, help firefighters, help different folks in need. It's been really devastating here in Berkeley too. The smoke has been extremely overwhelming. Everyone's been going around wearing these masks. It seems like out of a horror movie or something. I even have this mask in case things get really bad. This is my Halloween costume a couple years ago from Breaking Bad. Um, but anyway, I had to get that out of my system before starting today's video. Today's video is about the 360 Penguin. This is a new 360 camera that has just come on the market. It is from the company 360 Rise. 360 Rise makes products like this. This is a 7 GoPro rig. I bought this a couple years ago and you're able to put different GoPros in it and get 6K res out of it. It's pretty good back then. Now you can do 6K res with this super tiny camera. So you can see it's a little bit tinier, just a little bit tinier. What I really like about this camera is the feel. It feels like this nice rubbery material versus this one feels more like a hard plastic kind of feel. I did a shootout the other day where I was on the golf course for the first time in six months. I went out on the golf course and I took both these out there because it arrived the day before and I wanted to see how they can do. I can tell you this, when I was editing the footage, I literally was getting confused which shot was which because they look pretty comparable. And this camera is $258. This one goes for more like $400, $500. So big difference in price there. This one wins in terms of the price, but I think this one has a little bit better um, capabilities with photo and video, but only slightly better. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna show you some of the footage right now. So you can see here, we're on the golf course. This is me hitting a golf ball. Here we are driving, driving in the golf cart, and you can see here the stabilization in the 360 Penguin is not really great. So that's why I think the 360 1X wins for the little bit of video with the stabilization, but this one is great for other things. Like one thing that I really like about this camera that the, this one can't do yet is this one can do live streaming. And I spoke with the owner of this company, Michael, and he actually linked me to a video where it live streamed for seven and a half hours. So that's very, very impressive for a $258 camera. Um, if I had a band right now, this would be the camera I would send with the band to do recording and do live streaming of their shows. Because I know if they break it, at the end of the day, it's only $258. That's like a bar tab for a band. So I highly recommend this if you know someone who's going on the road or someone just going in an area where this would be like a little bit easier to put on a helmet than I feel like this. It kind of like sticks out a bit more. Little things like that that I think are, are big. It is certainly a lot lighter. This one feels much heavier. So this one wins in terms of lightness. Um, I immediately think back to when I first started getting to 360 in virtual reality films. I was doing work with dog adoption centers and we would put the camera next to dogs and they would knock it over and getting these low angles is very, very helpful. So this guy can get a lower angle than this one uh, just by a little bit. And you can see here the different shots that we got. This one is a shot where my friend actually knocked it into the camera as he chipped the ball up and it hit him. Oh man. Um, thankfully no damage was inflicted, at least none that I could tell. This one, this one is a thinner 
uh, body underneath as you can see and then this one's a little bit thicker. It has a screw on the end there which is kind of unique to it. At first I was kind of like a little bit upset. But the reason being is they want you to actually get access to the power which is also underneath there. So they want you to be able to power this thing on. I found out it had an internal battery and again I was kind of like peeved about that. But if it can live stream for seven and a half hours without the battery overheating, then I guess this is not gonna be a problem for me. On the other hand, I've not done a stress test with this to see how long it can go for. So I'm excited to see where this guy goes in the next couple months. Um, definitely a really great gift for the holidays if you have a niece, a nephew, a daughter, a son. This is the perfect 360 camera for them for the price. Another interesting feature about the 360 Penguin is that it does auto stitching, so it makes it very easy for a first time 360 or virtual reality filmmaker. The downside is if you're used to 360 cameras, it's kind of a pain to not have access to the raw file to be able to stitch it. Maybe that will be updated with some firmware, but I don't know. So anyway, that's my review of the 360 Penguin. I hope I earned your subscription today. Please hit that notification button if you want to stay up to date on these videos. I'm linking below in the description to 360 Penguin. You can buy it on their website, um, 360rise.com, I believe. And I'm also going to link on Amazon to the Insta360 ONE X, which I think is an equally good camera. Um, and again, if you buy it on my Amazon shop there, I get a little bump in the revenue and it doesn't cost you anything extra. So I got that going. So thank you guys again for watching. Hope you have a great day. I'm hoping to do more of these videos in standard video as opposed to 360. Let me know what you think and if you like this better than my other 360 video vlogs. Okay, that's about it and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.